Hey, what's up guys? Briar Rabbit here. I want to talk about the Vengeance Map Pack today. I want to share my thoughts after seeing the trailer. I want to hear what your thoughts are too. So let's get into it after the break. Treyarch released a video of the new Vengeance Map Pack, and it looks pretty good. It's going to include four new maps. Uh, one is Cove, Detour, Rush, and Uplink, and a new zombie map and a new zombie weapon. I'm a little disappointed that there's not going to be any new multiplayer weapons. I hope they do something with that in Ghosts, because I really enjoyed the Peacekeeper, and I thought that was a really fun addition to the game. Uh, but yeah, we're not expecting it. They already said that they're not going to do any more, so we're not expecting it. Uh, but the four new maps, they look pretty good. Uh, not as good as I think the previous map pack or the one before that, but still uh, good and it's always fun to get new stuff. So let's talk a little bit about them. Cove, they unveiled. Uh, Cove is set on an island. It's a very small island set in the Indian Ocean. And it, what it looks like is there's going to be kind of this kill box right in the middle. And then a ton of flanking routes all the way around, kind of separated by rocks and trees. Uh, this... This map looks like it's going to be really fun. It looks like it's going to be especially fun for like domination and uh, free for all because there's just so much going on. Uh, it doesn't look very big, so it looks like it'll be SMG and shotgun heavy. Uh, so if you're getting sick of shotguns, I hate to break it to you, you get some bad times coming in this new map pack. Uh, Detour again. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks a little bit like hijack though, and I I'm super sick of hijack because every time it comes up in a playlist, then I have. To I have to play it twice or I have to leave the playlist. It's very straightforward. It happens on a bridge. There's two levels to the bridge. So you can either be on the bottom or the top. And you basically just, the two teams spawn on either side and clash in the middle. Very similar to Hijacked. Um, so it doesn't look like it's going to be offering a whole lot of new stuff. It does look good, but we'll see what it offers in the end. Uh, the next one is Rush. Ru Rush looks pretty cool. Rush is a paintball course. It's actually different pieces of paintball courses. Uh, the coolest part looks like the uh, balloon course with like those Dorito-shaped balloons and like you know the huge-shaped balloons that uh, you can hide behind and dive for cover behind. Uh, this one looks really cool. Again, though, very SMG and shotgun heavy. It's going to be really, really small, really tight. Um, we'll have to see about this one. I like to play maps that have different varieties of gameplay. So grind comes to mind. You can play a very shotgun centric or SMG centric game type in uh, in grind by sticking to the the high traffic areas, or you can play with a a LMG or an assault rifle or a sniper rifle by sticking out in the outskirts and just watching the uh, the areas where people are crossing traffic. You know, and I like that about grind. It has a bunch of different things that you can do in grind. There's no right way to play it. Um, when I see a map like Rush, though, I get a little I get a little concerned that it's just going to be just rushing gameplay. That's all that there's going to be. Um, at least with Detour, they did say that you could use longer range weapons, and that'd be that'd be a valuable uh, a valid option. And uh, there'd be longer sight lines, so we'll have to see about that one. Now, finally, Uplink comes from Summit. This is a re a redone map from Black Ops. If you were familiar with Summit and Black Ops, it was a lot of people's favorite map. Uh, you're going to be super excited to see this one. Uh, it's reskinned, similar to what they did with uh, Studio and Firing Range. So Firing Range, again, was a uh, older map from Black Ops that they reskinned and brought to Black Ops 2 in DLC. And Firing Range, to me, was one of my favorite maps. Again, for that reason, there's long sight lines, there's short sight lines. You can play any gun you want in Firing Range and you can be successful with it. And Uplink is very much the same way. There's a central area that's kind of like this building with two floors uh, with a lot of different ways to get in and out of it. Um, there's these two sides that are not quite symmetrical but close to symmetrical that you spawn at and then everybody kind of rushes in toward that middle. Uh, it was great domination. Uh, it's also really good for Team Deathmatch, I think. Uh, I am a little concerned that... <laughs> I, I'm getting a feeling that I'm coming off a little negative here, but I don't mean to. But I am a little bit concerned that, you know, they keep coming out with these older maps and reskinning them. And, you know, I've played these maps before. I played them a lot. I played Black Ops a lot. And I'm really familiar with these maps. And I would like to see newer maps, you know. Like, okay, Uplink is fine, but if you're only doing four maps every three months, then I think I'd prefer to see a brand new map, a fourth brand new map. 
you know, we've already done the reskin map. Let's do a whole new fresh map with new lines of sight to learn, all brand new stuff. So either way, you know, I know I criticized the map pack a little bit. I haven't played it yet, though, so I don't really know anything about how it's going to play. Just from the video I watched, I, th I thought it looked like it's going to be fun. I'm a little concerned that it'll be too SMG heavy, but we'll see. We'll see in the end. I'm uh, I'm gonna buy it. I mean, I already bought it. I have a season pass. So, what do you guys think? Are you guys gonna check it out? Uh, PS3 owners, I know you have a little longer to wait, but I know I'm gonna be playing it. I'll know I'll be playing it first day. So, let me know what you think. Uh, hit that like button if you like this video, and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.